My name is Robin Thompson. I'm the curator of the insect collection here at the University of Minnesota. And I'm here to try and figure out what we've got living in the ponds today. So when we are sampling in these aquatic habitats, we're really interested in what is living down in the muck, in the mud at the bottom. We're interested in what's living at the base of some of these plants. So I'm gonna try and sneak in into that cube area from underneath and try and disturb that sediment layer at the bottom and try and make sure that I am getting up against the base of that plant life. And then, yeah, we're gonna see what we've pulled out. And so for example, Ooh. right here, we've got a nice dragonfly larva that we just pulled out from in that cubic foot. <laughs> We've pulled our sample out of the water. We found some insects living in the pond. We've got them in its white pans. So we can get a better look at what we found. And we've got a nice variety of life that we found in that cubic foot. We've got several dragonfly larvae. We've got different sizes, indicating that we've got different ages in here. So we have maybe a final instar that's gonna get ready to pupate soon and emerge as an adult dragonfly. We've got some smaller, probably earlier instars also got this nice predaceous diving beetle from the family Diticity. So both the dragonfly larva and the diving beetle are predators in their aquatic habitat. Diving beetle is a little more active, uh, seeking out prey, whereas these dragonfly larvae are more of a sit and wait predator, sort of hiding in the habitat and waiting for something to come by and snatch it out. We've also got this really nice water scorpion. It's um, one of the true bugs. It's the family Nephidae. And this has a breathing tube off the back end. So they sort of need to stay somewhat near the surface so they can stick their breathing tube up and reach the air and get some oxygen. So some of what is interesting and kind of exciting about collecting insects is knowing when and where to find them. Um, we don't know any previous information about their life cycle, about their natural history. It can be really difficult to know if we found what we're looking for. So we need to know that we've shown up at the right time of year, potentially the right time of day. Um, a good example is this dragonfly larvae. So this is a large instar. It could be the final instar. This guy could be getting ready to pupate tomorrow and emerge as an adult. So if I came back tomorrow looking for him, he might already be gone. He's already emerged and flown away, meaning that I can't find him in his aquatic habitat. Uh, so knowing what time of year these things emerge as an adult is important to know. Knowing what time they start swimming as a larvae earlier in the year is important to know. Knowing where in the water they're occurring. I won't find these out free swimming in the middle of the water. They're not crawling around on the exposed rocks. I have to know that they are sitting white predators near the edges. They like to hide in vegetation. They like to be under debris looking for things. So I sort of have to know when and where these things are occurring in order to find them and confirm whether they're here or not. 